Welcome to A Quest for Metal. Today we are doing my top 20 thrash metal albums of all time. We're carrying on with this top 20 list. I've done prog, I've done melodic death, I've done death, I've done black, and now it's time for thrash metal. You know, one of the biggest genres of metal, and it'll be interesting to see what you guys pick on your list. So before I start, what's your favourite thrash albums? Let me know down below, and let's just fucking get dug in. So number 20 is Overkill, The Years of Decay. Gotta have some overkill on here. Classic band, amazing band. Not really got a bad album. Pretty consistent throughout the discography. But Years of Decay is my favorite. Time to kill, holy crap. This is just memorable as fucking hell. Horoscope's great as well. You know, I mean, there's too many good overkill albums. It's hard with Thrash, because a lot of the bands have so many iconic albums, but for me, this one just tickles my fancy the most, so number 20 it is. Number 19, we've got to have some Toxic Holocaust here, an overdose of death. Those walls on the cover, you know they're out for your blood. This is intense, this is aggressive, this is kind of like, like that kind of blackened edge, that blackened tinge to the thrash, which people know and love, and I do as well. Uh, you may see more blackened thrash later on. This is just fucking leading the pack. It... <laughs> There's wolves leading the pack. Yeah, Overdose of Death. Fucking classic. I love it. Next up is Midnight with Rebirth by Blasphemy. This came out 2020. You know, I didn't even have it on my top 20 albums, which I should have, because it's a fucking amazing album. But another one... You'll see that soon. You'll see another one crop up soon, which I fucking loved more. So I put that on my top 20 instead. This, though, not to be disregarded. Fucking love Midnight. The blend of black and thrash. This kind of black and rolly thrash, because, you know, it's got some rock and roll elements to it. Fun as hell. Songs are catchy. I mean, the song Rebirth by Blasphemy. Holy fuck. Catchy as old hell. Um, God, what is it? Speed and fucking darkness. This album is awesome. Go listen to it. 17, coming in more with, like, new thrash. Power Trip, Nightmare Logic. I'm not just saying this because Riley died. I saw him... We play it live, and it was fucking amazing. He was such a good front man, so R.I.P., but this album was fucking amazing. Every song, Soul Sacrifice, Executioner's Tax, Swing of the Axe, Firing Squad. It's Balls to the Walls Thrash, one of the best thrash metal albums ever made. I'm making it onto my list. 16, Artillery by Inheritance. This is an underrated band and an underrated album. This one is fucking Thrash up your ass. You never heard of Artillery. Check them out and check this album out first because it's a it's a fucking underrated gem. It's one of those gems that you'll listen to and you'll be like, why haven't I never listened to this before? It's fucking intense. The vocals are cool. The, the headbanginess is there. It's everything you want in thrash metal. Thrash up your ass. 15, we've got Venom. We've got to have some Venom on here with Black Metal. Could have picked Welcome to Hell. Um, but I think Black Metal's my favourite. And... It is the first wave of black metal, but that is thrash. You know, you say first wave black, that means thrash. So I'm putting it on this list. Come on. Kronos and the Boys, amazing. This album is iconic. This album is iconic. It's fucking intense. Love the vocals. Love the kind of spooky nature of everything. Um, Venom, what can I say? You all know Venom. You all love Venom. It's got to be here. 14, Morbid Saint, Spectrum of Death. This is another underrated gem that you should check out, especially from that artwork, where you'll, it just, it's, it's perfect. It's a perfect artwork. I don't know what's happening, it's like, like a ghoul from Fallout's just crawled out of the sewer, and then started a rock band. It, it feels like that, but the music is heavy. This is heavy thrash, and I love that. I love the heavy shit, the more edgy shit. And this delivers... Pounds your ass into oblivion again. More thrash in your ass. Morbid Saint. Underrated as fuck. They don't have a lot of albums though. But this one kicks goddamn ass. Number 13, something a bit weird. Something a bit boobity bobbity. Voivod with Killing Technology. This is still thrash. I mean, they were more thrash in the early days. This is kind of thrash tinged with prog, which I may have a band like that later. But Killing Technology is just, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. The thrashiness is the. The, uh, it's got weird computer noises and uh, computer things speaking to you. It's just, it's cool. It's a cool album. All their albums are cool. Voivod's a cool band. Very technical. Very 
interesting and progressive and they keep getting more progressive as albums go on but for me this is the pinnacle killing technology fucking amazing number 12 slayer of course this is the, probably the first big band that people know seasons in the abyss always been my favorite always will be i mean the song seasons in the abyss dead skin mask dance with the dead in my dreams fuck yes I adore this album. I adore the slow pace of this album, which is weird for Thrash, but it works very well here. It works very well here. War Ensemble? That's definitely off Snow. War Ensemble? Too good. This album? Fucking classic. Eleven Testament with the New Order. <sighs> My favourite Testament album. I think this just is the best of both worlds of the Thrashy nature and the kind of more melodic stuff they do later on. All the deaf stuff they do later on. Uh, I mean, come on. Into the Pit. Into the Pit is the Thrash Metal Anthem. Into the Pit is on this album, so it's got to be on my top 20 Thrash Metal Albums of all time list because it has fucking Into the Pit on. It's Into the Fucking Pit. I mean, all the other songs are good as well, but come on. Into the Fucking Pit. Top 10 now, and this is probably a surprise, Warbringer, Weapons of Tomorrow. This is the album I was talking about before came out 2020 but oh my god like the song stories the stories in these songs kind of harkens back to the good old days of metallica like master of puppets and ride the lightning and stuff like that like just the songs about war the songs about notre dame just how catchy it is the singing the the riffs of the the melodies the solos it's just a goddamn awesome album and it's easily making it into my top 10 i played this to fucking death last year and I want to play it more now so that's testament of a good album as that that is the signature of a good album so and it's not just good it's amazing nine is demolition hammer epidemic of violence this is fucking heavy this is evil sounding this is heavy this is just pound your head against the wall until it just fucking explodes into a bloody mess that's this album that's what I love in Thrash, and this delivers it. Holy goat balls. Go listen to this album. Eight is Sepultura Beneath the Remains. The best Sepultura album. Don't care about all you Chaos AD freaks. Fuck off. Beneath the Remains is the best. And then it's like Schizophrenia and Arise. Holy shit, this is fucking evil Thrash. Dark Thrash. It's cool. The vocals are amazing as well. Very different to a lot of other Thrash bands. That's why I like them. Um, you, most people know Sepultura, but if you don't, go check out Beneath the Remains. Come on. Flawless album. Number seven, talking about heavy thrash, talking about evil thrash, creator, pleasure to kill. Pleasure to kill. You gotta have creator here. They have that kind of early black, early death metal sound to some of their albums, like Endless Pain, and especially this one is more death metal sounding. Which I really love death metal, so hell yeah, pleasure to kill. All the songs about killing people in different ways. The artwork is iconic. It's intense from start to finish. Pleasure to kill. Pleasure to fucking listen to. Number six, got to have Metallica. Ride the Lightning is here. I could have put it lower because I don't really listen to Metallica anymore, but it's an iconic album and it's got Creeping Death on. One of my favourite Thrash songs of all time. Fight Fire with Fire. Trapped Under Ice. Trapped Under Ice. For whom the bell tolls. Come on. I even like Escape. I even like Escape. Ride the Lightning is classic. You know, I'm not going to be a hipster and not put it on. I, I love it, so fuck it. Ride the Lightning is going here. Number five. We have 666. Destroyer 666. Unchain the Wolves. Holy crap. Starting off with like a, what, like a nine minute song? With weird kind of acoustic -y, Well, not acoustic, but you know, uh, building up. To the song and then that fucking the vocals it's more kind of like black metal so it's more black and fresh destroy 666 hell yeah you never heard of them again check them out intensity all the way through it's got that evil atmosphere it's got long song it's got interesting songs this album kind of it just it just feels like it would fit at home in the black metal crowd and it'll feel at home in the fresh metal crowd and that's what i like so this band is awesome and this album is doubly awesome. Number four. Number four. Sodom with Persecution Mania. Take what I said about Destroyer 666 and just copy and paste it onto this. But, oh 
god, this is such a good album. This is, if you see my Sodom ranking, this is number one, of course. Um, Nuclear Winter. Nuclear Winter! Come on. I mean, every song on here is fucking amazing. It's dark thrash, like I know and love. Evil thrash. If you don't know Sodom, go listen to every album, because they don't really have any bad ones. Um, there's the, the well, yeah, well, that's a, go watch my Sonic ranking. <laughs> there's two that I'm not too fan, like a big fan of the punky ones, but aside from them, holy shit, the rest of the discography is flawless, especially the new album, amazing. But for me, Persecution Mania is always the best, so it's coming here. Number three is Skeleton Witch with Beyond the Permafrost. Probably didn't expect this one here. I love Skeleton Witch. I fucking love them. Again, similarish Black and Thrash. I don't know. It's, it's an intense Thrash band. Short songs, evil songs. Love the artwork. Even love the newer album, which is a bit more proggy. You know, it's a bit more proggy. But Beyond the Permafrost just is catchy song after catchy song. Adore this album. Easily one of my favourites. Number three Thrash album of all time. So number two is Rust in Peace. This is a flawless album. This is a perfect album. If anyone asked me what's a perfect thrash album, I'd hand them Rust in Peace. You know, I pref this is my favourite Megadeth album. None of the others come even close to perfection. I mean, oh well, they, they're really good, but none of them come as close to perfection as Rust in Peace. I really want to put it one, but there's an album that just gives me more joy. So it's going here, but Tornado, Tornado of Souls? Come on. Hangar 18? Oh, just... The songs are perfect. Holy Wars! Come on. Come on. Love this album to pieces. It's easily one of the best thrash metal albums of all time. Easily. But it's not my favourite. So my number one favourite thrash metal album of all time is Vector with Terminal Redux. Yeah, it's a newer one. Yeah, I don't fucking care. This is similar to Voivod. This is progressive technical thrash metal black and thrash metal it's got black metal screaming it's got long songs it's got solos it's got shredding it's got a spacey atmosphere holy fuck holy fuck this album is flawless so's outer isolation so's black future and i can't wait for the new album but for me terminal redux just dial up to 11 charging the void recharging the void oh my god Th this album is is one of my favourites of all time. I adore this album. So, yeah, it's coming in top of the pack. Terminal Redux is my favourite Thrash album of all fucking time. So that was my list. Probably a weird, wild list. I missed off a lot. There's no Death Angel, there's no Dark Angel, there's no Destruction, there's no Tankard, there's no Exodus. Oh, oh no, there's no Violence. <laughs> I missed off a lot, but, you know, ba there's a lot of bands out there i can't have everything i only have 20 so you know what you have to do let me know your favorites down below what did i miss off what would you have as number one let me know and we'll see you again on another quest for metal